Hi, Diana. Hi, Beata. Uh, thank you for coming back to Ottawa and um, thank you for agreeing to answer a couple of our questions. And my question actually is a bit more personal is what, what was your journey and what was the inspiration that led you to facilitate the family constellation workshops and in particular also combining them with the mystical principles? Hmm. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful question. Well, my own personal journey took me to like to really question in my life that although it felt I had everything, there was something lacking. I, I couldn't feel happy. I, I didn't feel happy. I, I couldn't feel realized. And so I started really to practice. Like I train in many type of therapies. Like I'm, tra I'm very trained in many, many different modalities. But there was still something that was missing for me until I actually met Bert Hellinger. That was a huge blessing in my life because he, he did what, what also Thomas Hubel, my teacher, also related to him saying that he brought very essential principles of life into the marketplace, disguised, that were not seen with allergy, the allergy that many of religions have now, like of many things that happen. So they brought these very deep mystical principles, like honor your father, honor your mother, that actually come from the Bible, since Moses revealed the Torah, you know, it comes from so ancient wisdom tradition, but it was suddenly received by, by the marketplace, by secular life. Why? Because it's essential. Mm -hmm. So what Bert Hellinger did was he brought my two passions together. He brought mystical principles with healing together. He brought, and for me, deep healing can only happen when we include the spiritual work or transcendent, the, the inclusion of the principles of life or the mystical principles, as, as we also call them with, in Thomas' work. So only when we have like the transpersonal, the transpersonal included in any modality of healing, I feel that it's possible, like huge transformation. And then I was totally touched. I went to so many workshops with Bert Hellinger. I was so touched that over and over and over, I would see how just the heart will open and how this deep longing and deep love of a child towards their parents, even when it's not seen, even when if you're angry, even whatever, it will be revealed over and over how we belong to a system, how we come from a lineage and how we continue a lineage and how life is sacred. And, and through Bert Hellinger work and many others that I really love, and many trainings I trained over more than 15 years, with because I was just passionate. It was like my passion. So I really trained and trained and took it very seriously to only work when I really felt that, that I could contribute into something. So I, I, did, I started working with Thomas Hubel for a long time and I also did my own spiritual practice in Zen practice for many, many years. And more recently also with Kabbalah and then very, because it comes from, from my Jewish lineage. So more and more, I could bring together the very basic and very essential principles of life into the healing work. Mm -hmm. um, it's just getting stronger. And in my own personal life, I could remember one constellation that B the Bert Hellinger did with me. And I want just to share because I, I, I love to, to be seen also as human being that is also has struggles and also are that I'm part of, of humanity too. So I don't, I don't like to be seen as separate, but as part of the journey of all of us. So I will relate, you know, I usually would feel like I had such a longing for a partnership and I was married, but then I got divorced and I had like this boyfriend that I love very much, you know, and I flew to Spain uh, to do my PhD in, in philosophy and ethics, although I was also training in, in psychology. And, 
I went to this workshop and told Bert Hellinger that I was waiting for my boyfriend and my boyfriend was not showing up. And I, I just was desperate, like was really codependent and was, could see that it was really codependent in this relation. But I was like, just, and then he was so patient with me, so loving. And he started to ask questions that I was thinking, what is this man doing? He started to ask, who died in your mother's lineage? Did something, someone died? And I was like asking. So I started to answer questions in my father also. He started to asking about my father and my mother. And I was like, all I want is my boyfriend, you know? But he was just digging, digging. And then, then I, I said, I remember, I said, okay, so my mother had a little sister that was born the same day as me. And he said, and then he was like alert. And he asked me, oh, really? And I said, yes, 30 years before me, the same date as me, the same time, the same city, only 33 years of difference. And they named me, and she, I said, like my mother, like my aunt that died, like my great-grandmother and my grandmother, because my name is Diana Maria Ernestina. So actually he said, oh, and he said, now I can see where is this longing for your boyfriend. And he just positioned all these amazing beauties of my lineage, my great-grandmother, my grandmother, my mother, and my aunt. And I, I got like in a, to a trance. I still remember it. I couldn't explain, but I was just crying. Like, and he was so loving and patient. I was just crying I, and could feel like my heart was just open. I couldn't understand what was going on. I was in a kind of a trance. But I actually started to feel really relieved, like a relief, like, and with the healing phrases that I said to my, like to create order, because actually I was taking care of all the family when actually it was the smallest of this lineage of women. So when he started to support me in really getting my, my place, that is like the great grandchild, the grandchild, the child. And, and that these are my aunt, my mom, my grandma, my grandmother, with a lot of love and giving back what is not me to do. Strong, radical transformation started to happen in my life. And I remember how he said to me something very beautiful. And I still remember, almost 20 years ago, but he told me, magical things can start to happen in your life if you allow it, if you can be open to this. Just, and I actually didn't thought so much about the boyfriend. So this total longing was for someone that was really missing in the system. My aunt, why? Because she died when she was very small, 11 months, and my grandmother, my grandmother couldn't, couldn't really relate to this, was very painful. Mm -hmm. And then my mother was born, and then all, and, and then it was like kind of excluded, but you could feel how in the system this needed to be integrated. So my grandmother couldn't, my mother couldn't, but then I did it. But actually at the end, it was now this aunt of mine is like an angel to me. It's like a very positive force that gives me strength. And I totally believe with, in this work because I've seen it in my life. Is one of the most transformative experiences. I, so I'm just passionate about this and I'm always open to reveal more of a system that needs integration, that needs including, that needs ordering. Yeah. This, oh, did, did this answer your question? Absolutely. Thank mm. you so much, Diana. It does okay. answer the question, Diana. It's very, very touching. Hmm. and also underscores the essence of that work and how it really is transformational. So I'm very grateful for your answer. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Wow.